at this time, the district and the board of directors would like to recognize a local citizen for their contributions to the district. Chief? Uh, yeah, real quick, I don't know if anyone knows, but the district took receipt of a new fire engine um, most recently, and we wanted to take a minute just to recognize someone who helped make that happen. Um, the district had a real need to, to make this capital purchase, and unfortunately it came at a time where maybe finances weren't it was, uh, abundant for the district. But um, one of our longtime commissioners, who over the years has always bragged, for those of you from CSA 13, has bragged about how wealthy you were and how much money you had. Well, Commissioner Marinoff brought up the idea of, hey, maybe CSA 13 could put up their portion of the fire, of the fire engine um, up front, which it was very helpful to the district for a lot of reasons. One is it was a substantial amount of money. I think it was $186,000. And it allowed the Marimwood district to uh, postpone their contribution for an additional year. So we wanted to take this moment to thank Ron for that. It was very, very needed and very forthcoming. And then we started thinking about all the things Ron had been around and done over the years. So I went through it in my mind. Ron started as a volunteer firefighter in 1965. It's three years before I was born. <laughs> and, uh, he was a volunteer firefighter from 1965 to 1977, at which point he retired from the fire service, but he moved right in to become a fire commissioner. So um, he's been a CSA 13 fire commissioner, your representative, since 1977 until the space is blank because he's still a commissioner and we plan to keep using him while he would like to be a part of it. So um, he's done a great job representing your interests. Uh, when I first started here as the fire chief, Ron was the person who was opposed to everything. Ron didn't want to spend a dot. And I was like, what's wrong with this guy? Why doesn't he want to help us out? And I kind of took it as a personal challenge then. I said, you know what? If I can get Ron Meredith to agree to something, to a need that the fire department has, the rest of these people would be easy. So I embraced it and I said, you know, I'm going to work, work with Ron. And as soon as I, I took that upon, um, he's been an ally to me and he's been very helpful. So thank you for that, Ron. Uh, so we have a plaque we're going to give to him. Ron Marinoff, volunteer firefighter from 1965 to 1977. CSA fire commissioner, 1977 to blank. In appreciation for all your hard work, especially the purchase of a new fire engine. So thank you, Ron. And with that, we also have a nice picture of the new fire engine to give him. And uh, the board and the uh, fire commission has also written a nice letter, which I think Jeff would like to read. So. Thank you very much for all your help over the years. Well, thank you. I'd just like to say a couple of things. We have uh, three generations here tonight of volunteer firefighters from the Marinoff family. My son, David Marinoff, was a volunteer firefighter here. His brother, Alan Marinoff, was a volunteer here, and uh, my grandson, Thomas Marinoff, is a current volunteer with Marinwood. So, <clears throat> you're never going to get rid of the Marinoff, so it's <laughs> all hard to try. But uh, the chief has fallen down on one thing, because I looked at the new engine, and there's no plaque with my name on it. <laughs> it's on order. <laughs> We're going to have your picture. There we go. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, I'd like to read this into the record as well. <clears throat> For those of us who know him, one of the first words that leaps to mind when we think about Ron Marinoff is involved. Since 1963, Ron has led or participated in grassroots efforts such as formation of the Zoning and Planning Committee in Lucas Valley, helped establish County Service Area 13 to provide fire production to Upper Lucas Valley, and served as president of the Lucas Valley Homeowners Association. Ron's been involved <clears throat> in efforts as diverse as securing and maintaining our valley's open space, lobbying the Coastal Commission to prevent Lucas Valley Road from becoming a four-lane highway, to point rays and helping to ensure more thoughtful, less concentrated development of the ranch lands to the west of Upper Lucas Valley. Ron has been a key player in defining the character of Lucas Valley today. Meanwhile, Ron was one of the original volunteer firefighters in Marinwood and served from 1965 to 1977. 
When he relinquished his firefighting duties to others, Ron immediately joined the Marinewood Fire Commission, served a chairperson, and still actively participates to this day. <clears throat> that he maintains his connections and keeps involved with the county, the city of San Rafael, and LAFCO continues to bring valuable context to our community through his service on the commission and his attendance at board meetings. As a member of the Fire Commission, Ron has been a tireless advocate for financial responsibility and has made numerous valuable suggestions for Marinwood. It is in this area where Ron once again demonstrated his vision and determination to do something of value for our community. When Marinwood faced, was faced with replacing its 20-year-old Type 1 fire engine <clears throat> in the midst of difficult financial times, Ron suggested and gained approval from CSA 13 to pay their entire share of the lease for a new engine in the first year, thus allowing Marin with the flexibility to purchase the engine within budgetary constraints. Without Ron's insightful and thoughtful gesture, this critical purchase might have been put off for several years. Our entire community, Marinwood, Upper Lucas Valley, Lucas Valley Estates, and those areas of San Rafael to whom Marinwood provides fire and emergency services owe Ron a debt of gratitude. Those of us who have and will continue to work directly with him will benefit from his leadership, stewardship, and example. Thank you, Ron, for all you do. Ron is on our finance committee and uh, is our advocate for CS13. And we are very grateful for Ron's continued contribution to not only our community of Lucas Valley, but also our entire valley. So on behalf of the Lucas Valley Homeowners Association, thank you, Ron, for keeping us on task. Well, thank you. <laughs> uh, I'd just like to say a, a very few words. Uh, first, uh, the price of liberty is eternal vigilance. And I've lived up in Upper Lucas Valley since 1963. And in 1972, the county was drawing up its first countywide plan. And in that countywide plan was a four lane highway from 101 through Lucas Valley to Point Reyes with billboards up and down 101 saying, the fastest way to Point Reyes National Seashore, take Lucas Valley Road. We got that thrown out. There was also a ridge top highway proposed from between Whites Hill and San Anselmo across all the ridges, and it was to come down to Lucas Valley Road at Mount Lassen. And we got that eliminated. Also, later on, the Renaissance Fair decided they wanted to move to the Grady Ranch which would have resulted in 10,000 cars over six weekends, 10,000 cars each weekend for six weeks when the Renaissance Fair, <coughs> we wouldn't be able to get out of our houses to get on Lucas Valley Road with 10,000 cars. And we finally took care of that. So when I say eternal vigilance, it's important because there's always people who look at a map and think Lucas Valley would be appropriate for something. So let's keep our eye on the ball and have really good communication with our supervisor because uh, we, we need an advocate. And also to work very hard to see that LAFCO doesn't do anything dreadful to us here. And I've had long conversations with the LAFCO director about that. The slogan now in Lucas Valley, in Upper Lucas Valley anyway, uh, to LAFCO is, leave us alone. <laughs> so thank you very much. I appreciate the kind words and uh, the plaques and everything. It's a total surprise to me. Uh, I was really puzzled when I saw the Board of Directors from our Homeless Association here. I said, did you guys make a wrong turn somewhere? <laughs> but this is a great evening, and I was so uh, pleased that my son and grandson are here also. Thank you again. Thank you.